it's my okay and i'm here to tell you i was just sitting in this car right here right this is where the lord <laughs> tends to find me a lot but i was just sitting in the car thinking about everything that the lord has has like truly tra transformed my life about and so call this a mini testimony whatever you want to call it but um let's get to it um so i was sitting in this car and i was like you know what what the lord has been teaching me is he is with me um the first uh verse that he showed me that in was was um joshua 1 9 and and i kid you not like like it stuck out at first like the words be strong and be courageous a stuck out and I was like, okay, be strong, courageous, be strong, courageous, be strong, courageous. Okay. I'm like, how do I do that? Like, cause I'm like, life be life sometimes. And so I started to walk with my head held high. I used to walk my, like I would walk. Now I'm like, okay, I'm walking. But guess what? The other half and the other part of that scripture is so important. Um, because the Lord, your God is with you wherever you go. And that is how you walk in in strength and in courage. Um, you walk in the sight of things. Psalms 23, it says, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want like in through the valley. Go read it yourself. I'll put it here too. But literally the Lord has been showing me he is he is forever present and the way I have seen him forever present in my life is through is through his Holy Spirit being being evident in my life what does that mean if you've never heard that before that evidence is is faith hope love joy gentleness kindness long long suffering which is patience all of those things that that is the fruit, the one fruit of, of the Holy Spirit. And I kid you not, okay, I kid you not. Once I chose, chose life, I chose to not submit to death. I chose to not be a slave to anxiety, insecurity, depression. When I chose that, life I chose life. That is called repentance. Change your mind. Change your heart and change your actions. This is a full 180. And and I'm telling you, if you feel stuck, if you feel like I am captive, you're not. Stop telling yourself that, sweetie. Like, you're not. Okay, boop, boop, see, you're not stuck. You are not captive. Be active. Be active. And how do we become active? You get in the word of God. You get in the word. Honestly, I thought it was a bunch of baloney when I first started. I was like, how is me going to read this book going to help save my life? Well, baby, I'm here to tell you. I'm a living, breathing testimony to tell you. Opening up that book will be the best thing you've done. It will teach you how to, how to submit to freedom, to submit to the one who frees, and not to submit to the enemy, the one who kills, steals, and destroys. Okay, I am pumped up. I hope, I hope y'all have a great day. Stay blessed and stay beautiful, baby. I love you, and Jesus loves you most importantly. If you, if you have never heard that, I strongly encourage you to read your word. Let that be the first thing. And if you need to know where to start, I started in Luke. That's a good place. But baby, starting start in genesis but i kid you not start in the gospels matthew mark luke and john that is where you can start baby i love you jesus loves you more importantly and you are not alone you are not stuck you are free and you are not captive so i love you and i hope you have a great day stay blessed and stay beautiful baby